Hey guys, Daniel from Roland, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the DJ202 with Serato's brand new digital audio workstation, Serato Studio. So the first thing we're going to do is go to serato.com. We're going to then take our mouse, we're going to hover over products, and rather than going into the Serato DJ section of the products, we're going to go to the music production section, and we're going to click Serato Studio. We're going to see the hooligan from selection with his DJ202. And here we're going to check out all of the things that Serato Studio has to offer. But for the sake of this video, we're going to go straight to the download. And we're going to download Serato Studio 1.1. So now I have the installer for Serato Studio here. I'm going to go through, read the end user license agreement and agree. I'm going to do the standard install. I'm going to wait for this to finish. So as we install Serato Studio, we don't have to go back and restart after we install the software. Now before we go ahead and open Serato Studio, we're going to need to confirm that we have the Roland DJ202 driver. And so we're going to hop back onto our laptop. We're going to now go onto the Roland.com page. We're going to hover over products and select the era and DJ tab. As we hit the product page, we're going to scroll down a little bit until we see the DJ202. We're going to click that, scroll a little further down until we see this tooltip here, and then we're going to hit downloads. So I'm on Mac OS, so in this particular video I'm going to show you how to find the version number inside of OS X. So when we take a look at our laptop, we're going to hover over the Apple icon, we're going to hit about this Mac and we're going to see that underneath the version of Mac OS, I'm on Mojave, we're going to see the version numbers. And here you see 10.14.5, which is the latest as of this video. So now that we've confirmed the driver that I need is 10.14, if you take a look at the website, version 1.03 will be for High Sierra and Mojave. Version 1.02 will be for versions 10.10, .10, so Yosemite, through 10.12, which is Sierra. And if you're on Windows 7 or 8, you're going to download the driver for Windows, so that's 1.0.1. .1. And if you're on Windows 10, and as long as you have internet access and you're not behind a firewall, the driver for the DJ202 is going to install automatically. So after we install the driver, we're now going to open Serato Studio on our laptop. Once you open Serato Studio on your laptop, you're going to see a couple windows. This is going to be the sample window. This is where you're going to sequence. This is your library and the folders for the library. Here towards the left, you can change between different projects that you may have saved. You can load up your drum kits. You can find your different plugins that you might have. Uh, I have a bunch of the Roland Cloud plugins. And you can import all of those and compose a track either bringing your own samples in or you can use the built-in audio samples. So what I'm going to be doing is going into my audio samples and I'm going to choose a sample called Ghetto Soul. What's great about the DJ202 is that it's already pre-mapped for Serato Studio. So the left side will control your programming, so things like sequencing chops, to programming drum kits, will all be done on the left side of the deck. The right side of the performance pad section on the DJ202 is how you'll be able to create new what we call scenes. And these scenes are going to be helpful when we create and ultimately go into our song mode because as we look at our laptop and we go into song mode, we're going to be able to rearrange all of those scenes that we create and click and drag them into the timeline below so that we can export our song and we can either import those into another digital audio workstation like Ableton, or we can just take our file that we create here and, and upload it straight to something like SoundCloud. So the question here is, how do you create a beat with your DJ202? This means that your DJ202 is more than just a DJ controller, it's now a production workstation. And what can you do with this? So when we go back and look at our software, we can go ahead and change the built-in drum sound. So here we have an 808 built-in. 
If we click the drum section inside of Serato Studio, we can go to all drum kits. This is where we're going to select a different drum kit. And we have pre-built kits ready to choose from. Here, I'm going to click the clean 909 drum kit, and I'm going to simply click and drag this into the existing 808 drum kit section. So now this changes all the samples. So I have this 909 kit alongside this sample. And when I look at the sample, what I want to do is simply create a loop. So now that I have my sample, what I want to do is make sure that I'm in loop mode. So I want my sample to loop. And if you look at the sample section inside of Serato Studio, you'll notice that you have two different play modes. You have a press and hold to play the sample, or you have a one-shot mode, which is this line and the arrow pointing to the right. You can stop the sample by pressing the play pause button. And so now what I can do is create my sequence. I'm gonna make sure that the BPM is set to a tempo that I want, so it's already at 120. And what's really cool about Serato Studio is that it detected the key of the sample as soon as you dragged it into the sample box. So here you'll see that this sample is in B. And that's really great because when we start to bring in our plugin, it's automatically gonna map these pads here to B major. It's really great. So let's go ahead and sequence our first beat. So here we've got our various drum sounds, right? So before we go ahead and program a beat, we want to make sure that our quantize value is set to a value that we're comfortable with. So I'm going to hit edit up here at the top of the program. So before we continue, if you're a brand new producer, I've got to explain what quantize is. Quantization is basically a way to hit pads on your DJ202, but get them in time with the software, meaning that you'll always play in time. Even if you're a little off, the computer will make sure that it's keeping you on the grid as you start to program. I'm gonna make sure that my quantize size is one over 16, that's the default. If you wanna disable quantize, you're gonna disable this checkbox and turn quantize off. But I wanna make sure that for this demo that I'm keeping it on, so now we're going to take a look at our DJ202. This Q button on the left side is going to be how you enable recording. Now what it's going to do, once you press this button, it's going to give you a one bar sort of count off so that you know what the tempo is as you start to program. So for instance, if I click the Q button, it's going to go one, two, three, four, giving me a spot and allowing me to really figure out where the timing is going to be. So now what I can do is overdub over this kick drum. So I can find, let's say, my hand clap, which is gonna be on this button. And I can just keep overdubbing sounds over this kick drum and this hand clap. So now that I've created that pattern, what I can do now is move on to the sample. So I'm going to go into Serato Studio. I'm going to click the sample now to engage it. So now that I've armed the sample, I'm going to go back to my controller and I'm going to try to figure out what sounds I have available. Maybe something like that. So now that I have an idea of how I want to replay that sample, what I'm going to do is now go into the scene and extend this track to four bars by pressing this plus sign. Each of these is going to be a single bar. And so now I have a four bar loop and I'm going to be able to confirm that by pressing the play button on the right side. This is going to be the global play button. So now what I'm going to do is overdub this sample that I have. 
and put that to the beat. So again, I'm going to press Q button on the left side to start and engage recording. Two, three, four. And that's really cool. And I now have a foundation so that now I can take the track that I just produced and now I can add effects.